These are hard times for all of us, aren't they? Um, adults that I know are, are experiencing feelings of sadness, of fear, of isolation, um, of disconnection from friends and family, um, and grieving for the life that they had just a few weeks ago, as recently as February. And these big feelings are, are ones that adults are feeling, and, and of course children are, are having big feelings as well. Um, and some examples of that, um, a third grader that I know said that children in his class um, felt like if you got the coronavirus that you would die. And two of our kindergarten grandsons were FaceTiming the other day, and the, the mother of one of them told me that they were talking about feelings. They were talking about how much they loved and missed each other, about how they really wanted to play together, and, and they didn't know when that might happen again. Well, there are some things that we can do to help children um, both acknowledge and to talk about and to deal with those big feelings that they experience. And oftentimes we can do that with books. I have a book today that I wanted to share with you called The Rabbit Listened. And in this story, a little child named Taylor creates um, just an, an amazing construction and Taylor was so proud of this. He thought it was fabulous. And then, through no fault of Taylor's, a flock of birds came and destroyed his beautiful, awesome construction. And it all came crashing down. And one by one, animals came and, and tried to talk to him. And the chicken came and said, Oh, well, let's talk about this. Let's talk, talk, talk. But Taylor didn't feel like talking. And then along came a bear, and the bear said, Oh, you must be so angry about this. Let's shout. But Taylor didn't feel like doing that either. And an elephant came along next and said, Well, let's remember how it was. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering. And several other animals came along and offered him advice as well. But he didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So... They all left, and so Taylor was sitting there by himself, and he, he didn't notice when the little rabbit came along and came right up to him and snuggled up to him, and soon Taylor could feel the, the rabbit's warm body, and together they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked and as he shouted and as he remembered all those things that the animals had suggested. And through it all, the rabbit stayed right with him. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, said Taylor. And the, con the construction that he made was absolutely awesome and fabulous again. So I, I think, too, that that's the kind of story that is just as appropriate for adults as it is for children. That message is one for us as well. Well, there are some other places that you can find recommendations for books. Um, and one of those places is on Best Beginnings website. It's bestbeginningsalaska.org. And at the top of the home page, just click on Parent Center. And there are lots of, of book suggestions there. Also, from now until June, Dolly Parton is reading books from her Imagination Library, like that book that we just saw. Um, from her Imagination Library every Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. And you can join Best Beginnings Facebook watch party at 7 o'clock on Thursday evenings and hear and see Dolly Parton reading some of the books that I think are very, very appropriate for right now and for what children are going through right now. So I'd also like to share with you something from Fred Rogers. And Fred Rogers wrote, at many times throughout their lives, children will feel the world has turned topsy-turvy. It's not the ever-present smile that will help them feel secure. It's knowing that love can hold many feelings, including sadness, and that they can count on the people they love to be with them until the world turns right side up again. And like you, I can't wait for our world to turn right side up again.